Recording? Are we ready to do this? All right, all right, let's do this. <laughs> so I would like to begin with uh, make one thing clear. I haven't been sponsored by Budweiser about this advert. It's just a personal project to test my improvement over time when it comes to product and advert videography in general. So I'm not sponsored by Budweiser. <laughs> and second, I would like to give personal, sincere, I don't know, I just like to say like, Ose Greco Sunale, you're the man. This light I'm using right now, it's just amazing. The Sokani X60 RGB light, it's just amazing. If you need to know more about this amazing light, uh, there's a link to a video right here, which Ose made and explained it all. If you're new to my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. So what's good everybody, say video on Belele, back to the vlog. And I'm here today to explain about the advert which I made about the Budweiser. Uh, for you guys who are wondering who is ABD, I'm a photographer and videographer based on travel and product photography and videography. And I based in Arusha, but I travel anywhere. As I'm saying, I'm a traveler, photographer and videographer. So welcome to my channel. And before we begin, hit the intro. Cheers. It's just a project which I just wake up one night and I start to sketch. Uh, in this a very, very old paper of mine, I did the sketch right here. I started to sketch this and I was like, okay, put it into the big drawings. So I decided to sketch this into the big drawings. Uh, so this was more like um, my storyboard. I sketched the storyboard and I was like, okay, so ABD, you just need to execute this project no matter what. But how are you going to carry it out? Because in my sketch, the first shot was the rotation of the bottle. So I just wanted the bottle to spin at the video begin. But the challenge is I didn't have the spinning machine or any kind of um, a wheel which can help me to spin the bottle. So I had to get creative, okay? So I need to spin a bottle, I need something which, which has a flat surface and has a handle where I can spin it. And I came up with this. I went to buy this just only <laughs> for the spin. Usually people use this to cook some kind of mandazi and chips, but I just wanted to put it like this, put the bottle right here and spin it. So yeah, you can imagine. I decided to use this to spin the bottle and that is where the first shot came in. That shot which introduced where the bottle was spinning to reveal the logo, this was the magic behind it. And together with the water pump where I had to pump a little bit of water into the bottle so to make it look like it's a cold beer. I use this player right here. Yeah, I did the pumping. Feel me? <gasps> Just like that, the bottle was wet and was spinning by using this two instrument. And the funny thing is, the shot came out all right. I was kind of scared, but thank God the shot came out all right. So that was for the first shot. For the second shot, uh, what I wanted to do, I want, at first, the original idea was to have the water drop, but later, I think even better. I say, how, how can I make it look a um, little more interesting? And I say, since the beer is cold, it will make sense if I show the snow is dropping. And for that snow shot is where I had to get creative and go to purchase this snow spray. See, so I had to purchase this snow spray and when the shot comes, I was like, Phew! and just like that, the snow says, yeah, it was Christmas, guys. Yeah, Woo, we got the money shot. I just bought this for that specific shot. And after the snow shot, uh, 
come the tricky shot which I had to do it uh, I want the bottle to drop and at the moment it's hitting the surface it has to turn into the ice cube to do this shot I had to ask the help from my friend Frank Sam I just drag him along and I was like Frank I just need your help uh, first shot I shoot me dropping it the bottle alone I just hold the bottle and then drop it on top of the surface of ice cube and then the second shot, uh, myself and Frankie, we had to hold some ice cubes and then throw them in the table. So during the post-production, when I was editing, I had to put for that shot where the bottle is dropping and then do some kind of transition, but it's very tricky because I have to go frame by frame and then add the ice that we throw. So it shows like the bottle is dropping and then turn into ice. And that was among the very challenging shots uh, for me to shoot and edit during this project because it was kind of tricky, but finally I pulled it off. I hope it's good. I hope you enjoy it. And the shot which followed after this uh, was the one whereby uh, a person is opening the bottle. That was very simple. I just cut the top of the bottle and then a person opened it by using the opener. And after that, it was the polling shot in the glass. There is where I had to ask the help of my brother Ose to use his macro lens so as to get those details, the bubbles of the beer, as you've seen in the video, because I have to get those mini details. So I have to use the macro lens, which we use the 90 millimeter of a Sony to shoot that one. And it came out all right. I think it came out all right. You could give me that feedback. And for the last shot is whereby the beer which is put is on the background and the Budweiser on the background and then one bottle of Budweiser come on top and the focus convert from the beers from the background to the one which you've just put it on the front and that was it for my Budweiser advert so guys thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and tell me what you think about this advert if you want to see more of this type of content in my YouTube channel just tell me and I'll be glad to create more for you guys and I'm enjoying so guys do what you love. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and see you to next and see you to the next one. So please enjoy the video. This is the final product. Yeah.